Ever wondered why Tokyo is considered one of the most enthralling cities in the world? Perhaps it's because Tokyo is a city that marries the old with the new in a seamless dance of culture and innovation. This metropolis is a treasure trove of diverse attractions that never fail to captivate the hearts of those who venture here. Imagine strolling through tranquil temples where the echo of ancient traditions still resonates amidst the serenity. Then, step out into the bustling markets where lively vendors peddle everything from fresh seafood to intricate handicrafts. And let's not forget the gleaming high-tech museums that offer a glimpse into the future. Tokyo is a city that never sleeps, a place where every corner holds a new surprise. Whether you're a history buff, a food enthusiast, or a tech geek, Tokyo has something for everyone. So buckle up, folks. Join us as we count down the top 10 unmissable spots in Tokyo. Starting off our list at number 10 is the lively Tsukiji Fish Market. A veritable hub of activity, Tsukiji is a whirlwind of sights, sounds, and most importantly, tastes. It's not just a market, it's an experience, a living, breathing testament to Tokyo's enduring relationship with the sea. Each day, before the sun even thinks about rising, the market buzzes into action. Fishermen, vendors, chefs, and locals alike gather in this bustling epicenter of seafood commerce. The variety of fresh seafood on offer is nothing short of staggering. From salmon and tuna to the more exotic fare like sea urchins and octopus, if it swims, you're likely to find it at Tsukiji. But the real star of the show here is the famous tuna auction. A spectacle like no other, it's a flurry of rapid-fire bidding and lightning-fast transactions. The energy is palpable as these massive glistening fish change hands in the blink of an eye. And then comes the part that everyone looks forward to. Breakfast. Yes, you heard that right. Sushi for breakfast. It may seem unusual, but tasting sushi made from fish so fresh it practically jumped onto your plate is a unique experience that cannot be missed. Tsukiji Market truly offers a feast for all senses. It's a vibrant, lively glimpse into the heart of Tokyo's culinary culture and a must visit for any traveler looking to fully immerse themselves in the city's unique flavors. At number nine, step into tranquility at the Meiji Shrine. Nestled within the verdant expanse of Yoyogi Park, the shrine is a testament to Tokyo's rich tapestry of history. The shrine, dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shokin, is more than a hundred years old, and its timeless charm offers a serene refuge amidst the city's endless hustle. As you cross the Tori Gate, you'll be welcomed by a spiritual experience like no other. There's a certain calmness that washes over you. The gentle rustling of the trees, the distant melody of the shrine bells, it's almost as if time slows down. One of the highlights of your visit will undoubtedly be the purification ritual, a tradition that cleanses the spirit, followed by the unique opportunity to write your heart's desires on wooden ime plaques. These wishes are then hung in the shrine, waiting for the divine to answer. Meiji Shrine offers a tranquil retreat in the heart of the city. Coming in at number eight, the Tokyo Tower stands tall and proud. This iconic structure, painted in a striking shade of international orange and white, is a testament to Japan's post-war rebirth. It's a beacon of resilience, reaching a staggering 333 meters into the sky, a touch taller than its inspiration, the Eiffel Tower. The Tokyo Tower is more than just an architectural marvel, it's a window to the world. Two observation decks offer panoramic views that are nothing short of extraordinary. From the main deck 150 meters high, you can take in the sprawling metropolis, a sea of buildings stretching to the horizon. On a clear day, you can even spot Mount Fuji in the distance. The top deck, at 250 meters, promises an even more breathtaking vista. But the Tokyo Tower isn't just about what's up high. There's plenty to explore at ground level too. At the tower's base is Foot Town, a four-story building housing museums, restaurants, and shops. Here you can immerse yourself in the culture, cuisine, and commerce of Tokyo, making your visit to the tower a comprehensive Japanese experience. In the heart of Tokyo, the Tokyo Tower is more than a landmark. It's a symbol of the city's spirit, a testament to its resilience, and a beacon calling to the world. Tokyo Tower provides a stunning view of the city's skyline. At number seven, we dive into the world of manga and anime in Akihabara. Often referred to as the Otaku Cultural Center, Akihabara is a bustling hub that serves as a beacon for fans of anime, manga, and video games around the world. Walking down its streets, you're immediately greeted by the vibrant atmosphere. It's like stepping into a different universe. 
one where larger-than-life billboards of your favorite anime characters loom overhead and the air buzzes with energy. This district is a treasure trove, teeming with countless manga and anime shops. From rare collector's items to the latest releases, there's something for everyone. But it doesn't stop there. Akihabara is also known for its maid cafes. These charming establishments offer a unique dining experience where waitstaff dressed in maid costumes treat patrons as masters and mistresses in a private home, rather than as cafe customers. It's a fun, quirky part of the Akihabara experience that you won't want to miss. For the tech savvy, Akihabara is a goldmine. With its multitude of electronic stores, you'll find everything from the latest gadgets to retro gaming consoles. It's a haven for tech enthusiasts and hobbyists alike. Every Sunday, the district transforms into a pedestrian zone, allowing for a leisurely exploration of its many offerings. Whether you're a pop culture aficionado or just curious about this unique slice of Tokyo, Akihabara is a feast for the senses. Akihabara is a paradise for pop culture enthusiasts. Number six takes us to the historic district of Asakusa and the famous Sensoji Temple. Immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of history that unfolds in Asakusa, a district that has preserved the ambiance of old Tokyo. The star attraction here, without a doubt, is the Sensoji Temple, Tokyo's oldest Buddhist temple. Founded in the 7th century, this temple is steeped in legend, with a story that involves two fishermen and a golden statue of the goddess of mercy, Canon. Stroll down the bustling Nakamis shopping street, a lively thoroughfare that leads up to the temple. Here, you'll find an array of traditional Japanese souvenirs, from intricate fans and delicate tea sets to sumptuous street food that's hard to resist. It's a sensory overload of sights, sounds, and enticing aromas that makes every visit a memorable one. As you approach the temple, you'll be greeted by the colossal lantern hanging from the Kamenaraman or Thunder Gate. This massive red paper lantern, weighing nearly 700 kilograms, is an iconic symbol of Asakusa and a popular photo spot for visitors. But it's more than just a stunning sight, it's a symbol of the district's enduring connection to its past. Asakusa isn't just about historical sites though, it's a vibrant neighborhood where tradition meets modernity. From rickshaw rides to river cruises, there's always something exciting to explore. Asakusa offers a taste of old Tokyo. Halfway through our list at number 5, we visit the modern Roppongi Hills. This impressive complex is a testament to Tokyo's innovative spirit, soaring high into the sky. The Roppongi Hills complex is a city within a city, boasting high-rise buildings that house offices, apartments, shops, restaurants, and even a multi-screen cinema. One of the main attractions here is the Mori Art Museum. Dedicated to contemporary art, this museum is a hub of creativity and innovation, showcasing works from both emerging and established artists from around the world. Each exhibition is a unique experience, reflecting the dynamism of modern art. But the true gem of Roppongi Hills is the Sky Deck. Situated atop the Mori Tower, the Sky Deck offers panoramic views of Tokyo that are nothing short of breathtaking. From here, the city stretches out in all directions, a sprawling metropolis of lights and activity. As the sun sets, the cityscape transforms into a dazzling spectacle, with the twinkling lights painting a stunning portrait of Tokyo at night. Whether it's for the art, the architecture, or the outstanding views, Roppongi Hills offers a unique perspective on Tokyo. It's a place where the city's relentless push towards the future is on full display, where the hustle and bustle of daily life meets the serenity of art and the awe-inspiring beauty of the city. Roppongi Hills is where modern architecture meets stunning city views. At number four, experience the thrill of the famous Shibuya Crossing. This iconic intersection in the heart of Tokyo is more than just a pedestrian crossing. It's a symbol of the city itself. Known as the Scramble, Shibuya Crossing is one of the busiest spots in the world, where up to 3,000 people cross at a time from all directions at once. It's a site that truly encapsulates the pulsating energy of Tokyo. But Shibuya Crossing is not just about the hustle and bustle. It's also about the vibrant life that surrounds it. The area is a shopper's paradise, boasting a myriad of shopping options, from high-end fashion boutiques to quirky local shops. And if shopping isn't your thing, Shibuya also has a smorgasbord of dining options. Whether you crave authentic sushi, sizzling yakitori, or a steaming bowl of ramen, Shibuya has it all. Just a stone's throw away from the crossing is another iconic symbol of Shibuya, the statue of Hachiko. This loyal Akita dog who waited for his deceased owner at Shibuya Station every day for nearly 10 years has become a symbol of loyalty and affection. 
the statue is a popular meeting spot and serves as a reminder of the softer side of Shibuya amidst its frenetic pace. Shibuya Crossing is a testament to Tokyo's bustling energy. It's an unmissable experience where you can feel the heartbeat of Tokyo, a city that never sleeps. Coming in at number three, get ready to explore the fashionable streets of Harajuku. Known as the epicenter of youth culture and fashion in Tokyo, Harajuku is a fascinating blend of quirky and avant-garde styles that have made their mark globally. The district is a living, breathing embodiment of the phrase, fashion knows no boundaries. The heart of Harajuku, Takeshita Street, is a bustling pedestrian paradise lined with shops selling everything from vintage clothing to the latest fashion trends. It's not uncommon to see young people sporting vibrant, eccentric outfits that challenge traditional fashion norms. This is the birthplace of many of Japan's most eye-catching fashion trends, including Lolita, Visual K, and cosplay styles. But Harajuku is not just about fashion. It's also a haven for foodies and shoppers alike. The area is dotted with trendy cafes, offering a range of treats from rainbow cotton candy to animal-shaped ice creams. You'll also find a plethora of boutiques selling unique and often handmade items, making them perfect spots to find that one-of-a-kind souvenir. Harajuku is also home to several vintage stores, where fashion enthusiasts can hunt for rare designer pieces and hidden gems. Each shop has its own unique vibe, offering a shopping experience that's far from ordinary. In essence, Harajuku is a place where traditional and modern Japan intersect in a vibrant explosion of color, creativity, and individuality. Harajuku is the heart of Tokyo's youth culture. Our runner-up at number two is the magical Tokyo Disneyland. Immerse yourself in a world where imagination meets reality, where dreams come alive, and where magic is just a part of everyday life. Welcome to Tokyo Disneyland, an enchanting kingdom of fun, fantasy, and adventure. This is not just a theme park, it's a realm of joy and wonder that never ceases to delight. Here, you can embark on a thrilling journey through Space Mountain, take a delightful cruise around the world with It's a Small World, or join the swashbuckling adventure on Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't forget to experience the fantastical parades that are a feast for the eyes. Watch as your favorite Disney characters come to life, dancing and singing their way into your heart. What sets Tokyo Disneyland apart are the unique Japanese touches. You might notice them in the meticulous details of the park's design, the infusion of local culture in some of the attractions, or even in the delightful fusion of East and West in the park's cuisine. These elements blend seamlessly with the classic Disney charm to create a truly unique experience. And when night falls, the park transforms into a spectacular canvas of light, sound, and color. The nighttime shows are a dazzling spectacle that will leave you spellbound. So whether you're young or just young at heart, there's something for everyone in this magical kingdom. Tokyo Disneyland brings the magic of Disney to the heart of Japan. And finally, at number one, the Imperial Palace, a symbol of Tokyo's rich history. Immersed in the heart of Tokyo, an oasis of tranquility and history unfolds, the Imperial Palace. This grand edifice is more than just a palace. It's a symbol of continuity, a testament to Tokyo's rich and vibrant history, and a beacon of its enduring culture. The Imperial Palace's story is as fascinating as its architecture. It was originally known as Edo Castle, the residence of the Tokugawa shogunate during the Edo period. After the shogunate fell, the castle transformed into the Imperial Palace, the residence of the Japanese imperial family. This transformation marked a significant shift in Japanese history, from the feudal era to modernity. Just as the palace's history is captivating, so are its surroundings. Nestled within the palace grounds are the beautiful East Gardens, an embodiment of Japanese horticultural artistry. They are a picturesque representation of the changing seasons, a spectacle of blossoming cherry trees in spring, vibrant greenery in summer, colorful leaves in autumn, and serene snowscapes in winter. The gardens offer a tranquil escape from the bustling city, a place to reflect and appreciate nature's beauty. Equally impressive are the palace's defensive moats and walls, a glimpse into the past when these structures served as formidable barriers against potential invaders. These moats and walls, now adorned with meticulously maintained foliage and crossed by charming stone bridges, offer a unique blend of history and natural beauty. They are a testament to Japan's architectural prowess and strategic ingenuity, seamlessly integrating man-made structures with the natural environment. But the Imperial Palace isn't just a historical artifact or a beautiful garden. It's a symbol of Tokyo's resilience and its ability to harmonize the past with the present. Amidst the city's towering skyscrapers and neon lights, 
the palace stands as a beacon of tradition, a vestige of a bygone era, yet still relevant in the modern age. The Imperial Palace stands as a majestic reminder of Tokyo's past amidst its modern skyline. So there you have it, Tokyo's top 10 unmissable spots. From the hustle and bustle of the Tsukiji fish market, where the city's vibrant culinary scene comes to life, to the serene tranquility of the Meiji Shrine, a spiritual oasis amidst the urban jungle. We've scaled the heights of the iconic Tokyo Tower and delved into the unique pop culture paradise of Akihabara District. We've journeyed back in time at Asakusa and the historic Sensoji Temple before catapulting into the future at the modern Roppongi Hills. We've navigated the exciting chaos of Shibuya Crossing and strutted down the fashion-forward streets of Harajuku. We've lost ourselves in the magic of Tokyo Disneyland and marveled at the majestic Imperial Palace. Each of these spots offers a unique slice of Tokyo's intriguing blend of tradition and innovation. So, next time you're in Tokyo, make sure you don't miss out on these fantastic spots.